Well, hey there, boys and squirrels. It's West Coast 7. For now, coming at you on something new. That's right. Welcome to the new cockpit of the channel. So, as you can plainly tell, there's no longer a fat bob, but there is now a road glide. A road glide standard to be uh, technically correct. Uh, no copyright infringement here. So, I came up here, quick picture, thumbnail action. And we're just gonna talk about it on the way to work. And I might get something to eat if I have time. But, yeah, I traded in the Fat Bob for a Road Glide for sure sheer comfortability reasons. I mean, I had the Fat Bob looking good, nothing was moving, but going on longer trips with uh, some of the guys who have like touring bikes was uh, brutal to say the least. Um, so I was like, oh, you know, this isn't working and I kind of like going distance. So, um, it's, it's got to go. So, uh, one day at work, I rode it up, traded in the Fat Bob for this road glide. And I got to say, this is what I should have been doing a while ago. Like, I like the Fat Bob, but I just feel, uh, I feel at home on the road glide, like, cradled in the arms of a loving mother or something. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, but yeah, it's just so much more comfortable. My legs don't hurt. You know, I went to, uh, I've gone to Death Valley already, um, and my legs are just fine. They weren't, like jiggly jello or whatever uh, like they would be if I was on the fat bob just because I was so cramped up I was so comfortable it was just so fast and so fun um, so at the time when I bought the fat bob it was my first Harley and as you know I had the spider then I had the Vulcan for a couple weeks and that was my transition into two wheels so I got the fat bob and I was like oh yeah that's cool I like that. I like the look of it. It has an aggressive styling. Um, and then it was also my, you know, real, first real two-wheel bike that, you know, I went from CCs to cubic inches. Um, and I remember talking to the sales guy and he was like, you know, you could always just get one of these. You're a bigger guy. And I was like, yeah, but I'm not going to use the radio or the navigation. I use my phone for all that. And uh, now that I have it, I certainly do use it, um, and I like I like having the music because I can still hear what's going on around me and the music. Um, so I, in, to break it down to the base of of getting the Fat Bob over uh, a touring bike when I first started getting into the Harleys and all that is I was like the Street Glide or whatever. It's, it's a it's a big bike and I don't know if I'm ready for it, so. Uh, that's that was one that so I was afraid. I was afraid. Let's just put it that way. I was like, nope, nope, not doing it, not doing it. Um, so I got the Fat Bob. I got my bearings, and I love my Fat Bob. And then uh, you know, it, I never really went too far on the Fat Bob. Just you know, I was like, well, maybe my legs hurt just because I'm not used to it. I had a rider for a while, and well, maybe the legs hurt because the forward, the, the mid controls or whatever, the forward mid suck, uh, the foot peg sucks. I was doing all this stuff and throwing money in it to make it more comfortable. Um, you know, I made it fast, I made it loud, but the the comfort level never really increased uh, by a, a margin that was like this is acceptable. It was just kind of like a slight increase where you're like, yeah, I could do, I could do something else and probably stop throwing money into this. Uh, and that's, that's where I was. I was like, I'm tired of uh, throwing money into this to make it something that 
I could just get and it's already done and I just add the cosmetic changes and stuff um, so that's where we're at that's why we got the road bike it's got bags I know we're gonna have to carry a backpack uh, I get the radio navigation sometimes I use it sometimes I don't but I use the radio a lot put my phone into it um, and then it blocks the wind because as a guy who's 6'4 340 with no fang I'm a big parachute and after a while it gets really tiring and you get that real good rider fatigue where you're just like you know what I gotta stop I don't want to but I got to uh, but with this the fairing blocks like 90% of it and then I bought the, the windshield install review comes in anyway back to what we're talking about now um, but that's why I traded in the, the fat bob so the road glide like this got everything I need and I can go distance because I got six gallons of gas instead of 3.6 uh, so I remember so when I started at Red Rock Harley Davidson I had never ridden any other bike any other Harley besides mine so I had never ridden street glide I had never ridden a road glide or anything else besides the fat bob uh, and I think like one of my first couple demos they were like, yeah, I want to try this street glide, and, uh, and I was like, oh boy, Whew. all right, let's get it, and I hopped on a street glide, and I realized this is nothing but my fat bob a little heavier, and it's got bags, so I got to watch how far I lean, but it's all the same, so, and I was like, oh, I can do this, and then you progressively, I wrote, I've ridden like every bike, but I rode the street glide and the road glide back to back and I'd be like I got a lot of wind coming from the street glide but I don't have a lot of it coming from the road glide and uh, enough test rides and you're just like I'm buying a road glide so I bought a road glide so yeah I mean everything about this bike feels right to me you know the seat the way my legs are positioned it's, got a, it's already got an engine guard on it it's like with the highway bars on it stock bars suck but they're not horrible or just stock bars um, but yeah the wind protection is so when I, is, is fantastic so when I was gonna trade in my bike it was gonna be a touring bike um, one I got I was tired of carrying a backpack and uh, two I was trying to get I was tired of getting beat up by the wind so I uh, was like, I need something with the fairing. I prefer a road glide, but I'll take the goddamn street glide. Just tired of getting beat up. Um, and I was able to get the road glide, so. Navigation, like if I'm going somewhere and I don't feel like unlocking my phone, I can just type, you know, I can put it in there with the, the joystick or what have you. So, I mean, this thing is, this thing is tops. Um, I would say if you're in between street glide or road glide for the looks or whatever or you don't wind protection or whatever ride them back to back and there's a high possibility you'll pick the road glide so at work we got Jacob he's got a, a road king but we rode to uh, Mount Charleston out here not too long ago and I was on the fat bob and he said that I looked like a superhero in crouch mode at all times and it's a little chilly and I was like huh that's, that's not cool I mean it's kind of cool you know superhero status but it's like yeah maybe I am a bit I like the bike but maybe I'm just a little overbearing on it you know uh, then we got Joe. Joe has a YouTube channel called Big Boy Cars. Big guy and his buddy, who's also a big guy, in small cars. Uh, so check that out. I get, I'll link it because, you know, he's my boy. Uh, but uh, he's like all road glide. If it is not a road glide, he is just not about it. And I was like, man, guess what? Bought a road glide. Oh, what? What? Awesome. Road glide gang? Those were like 
most of his actual words. Um, but yeah, he was all about road and riding. He was like, you finally did it. I'm so proud of you. I was like, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, lo and behold, two and a half weeks later, a thousand mile service. So, like, I, I've just been riding this thing and every chance I get, small trips to the store. I love this bike. Like, I should have been doing this a long time ago. Um, but things happen and you do things, you learn from them. But now you know, hey, Rogue Glide forever, right? But well, we just wanted to. I just wanted to. Oh, and you know, we're we're. I'm starting a whole new chapter in my life. So we got new bike. There'll be a new uh, channel name, and uh, we're gonna have. I'm gonna try for better videos. Um, I don't know about test rides because I'm working so I can't really always ride them and I only get one day to myself which is a uh, Sunday and maybe I, I'll test ride like one and then go do whatever I'm going to do but I don't know but there'll definitely be some travel videos um, because I plan on doing putting some miles here and there especially on a Sunday who knows where I'll go um, so stay tuned for that it's, the name will change, but I'll keep like the tag or whatever. And uh, so, new things, new beginnings, more fun. So, stay tuned for that. And with that, I mean, you know, I just wanted to introduce a new, a new ride. Uh, we'll do a walk around about it here in a video or so. Maybe a Sunday. Uh, um, we'll do a walk around about it. And, uh, well, you know, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get the channel flowing. But, uh, yeah, make sure, if you like the video, because you like road glides, or, you know, you just like videos, click the like button. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button, it helps the channel. The like button helps it a lot, too, so just click both of those. Uh, make sure you share it, you know, share it with everyone you know. Might like the content, might not, I don't know. You never know until you share um, and then leave a comment if you like road glides or street glides, you know, all that good stuff. Or if you ride something else, because you, you went, you came from a road glide, and you came from a road glide, and now you're like, nah, it was too big or whatever. Just leave a comment, and we'll talk about it. But with that, right now West Coast Southern is out. Just going to go to work because you know you got to make money. And we will see you on the next one.